Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie and you're watching The Victorian Thimble. Today, we're making Luna Lappin's bloomers. Hey everyone, welcome back. As you know today, we are making Luna Lappin's bloomers. So first I thought I would just share with you what I have here. You can see her, I just added the bloomers underneath her sundress. I will show you that in the book, it is shown with the little red corduroy jacket. So you can see that I simply put these under her sundress because I don't actually have more clothes made for her right now than the dress, the pants, and the boots that you've seen in my other video. So that's okay, we're gonna build the wardrobe, but for now, I just put them on with the sundress. But I'm gonna take them off to show you a closer look. First of all, if we just move her little sundress out of the way, you can see that it's a sweet little pair of pants with pin tuck stitching on the leg, a little ruffle attached with all cotton lace uh, accessory or trim as well. On the back, the way it was constructed, there is a space left for her little tail and it simply fastens by tying shut. On the front of this is an elasticized waist. Let's take a closer look. So let's take a closer look at these now that these are inside out. Okay, so now that these are inside out, you can see that they have been stitched in the ordinary way for pants, right? They have seams that are going down the side legs and down through the middle. Um, you can see here the inside out version of the pin tuck stitches. And I'll just fold this back here. And you can see there's the three layers of pin tuck stitching inside out. And you can see from the way this folds up, the ruffle is simply gathered and attached. And then I just used a basic zigzag stitch to finish the ends, because I really didn't want to rethread my serger with white thread for a tiny project, to be honest. All right, and then you can also see, um, this is just some simple dollar store lace. And then with the waistband, you can see that it's straight for a time and then it's elasticized in the middle, like that, and then it's straight again, and it simply closes with a drawstring. And once again, there they are, right side out, super cute. So I thought I'd do something a little different in today's video and see how you like it. This time I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step of the project, but I'm just gonna play some nice music in the background and put some text over it instead of voiceover. Let's see how you enjoy this format. I'll see you on the other side. Here we go.
thanks again for watching everyone. Please comment down below what you'd like to see me make next. And I'll see you next time with your needle and thread at the Victorian Thimble. Bye.